Welcome back. It's Dell from VA, and this is vlog number five. If you've made it this far, happy May as well. Here are some quick numbers to give you a COVID update. 3.36 million worldwide cases with 1.13 million in the United States. Overall in the United States, we've had 65,000 deaths and over 6 million tests administered within the United States. On weatherchannel.com or the Weather Channel app, there's a tool for COVID-19 cases in your area. You can search by city or county. And here's five quick snapshots from viewers that wrote in. Many of you know that the Department of State issues travel advisories by country. Well, the CDC now has travel recommendations by country, and they list the level of health notice, whether it's level one, level two, or level three, and an explanation for that country. I'll place a link down below to both sites. On a more personal note, I want to advise everyone to stay away from the malls. I know that some places are opening their malls, but malls are normally a petri dish of germs anyway, so there's no need to go to the mall now. Is there anything that you can't find online or in a local retailer in your neighborhood? I wanna take a moment to wish a very merry happy birthday to 12-year-old Abby. Here's a picture of her. Abby is a mixed breed dog with two different color eyes and can at times be temperamental, but when she's your friend, she's so much fun. Now, here's a look at some of her DNA results. Now, I know you're all thinking the same thing I was thinking. What is a super mutt? Well, here's the definition. A super mutt is a dog with small amounts of DNA from distant ancestors such as the German Shepherd, the Dalmatian, and the Doberman Pinscher. Today we're going to have a little fun interactive challenge. You're going to need a pen and paper and I'm going to leave a graphic up for 10 seconds that you'll need to use as your template. Hopefully you got your pens and papers ready to write down some answers. I'm going to go through mine one section at a time. The first thing is what I learned. So painting is a good way to decompress and meditate. So I've been taking uh, a little time to paint during this time. And here is one of my little projects. Also, I learned about the invention of the coffee lid and how it has reshaped the coffee business as we know it. I've placed a link down below so you can go ahead and check that out. It's a quick three minute video and it's actually very informative. I've also learned that vlogging on YouTube is a process of organization. It may seem like professional vloggers haphazardly record throughout the day and just post things online, but there's actually a lot of organization that is involved in them cutting and splicing adding music, and then eventually rendering the video so that they can post it online. Now for the things that I realized I appreciate. The first is making my own breakfast, even if it's a breakfast sandwich. Many people know that I love myself fresh and hot McGriddle, but there's nothing like making your own eggs and your own sausage, your own pancakes, or even if you're just cutting up some bananas to put into a bowl of cereal. It's great to do your own thing. The second thing I realized I appreciate is the speed of an uninterrupted supermarket cashier. Many people are waiting in lines these days at the supermarket, but it doesn't seem to be as long as normal. Normally, when you get up to the cashier, you interact with them. 
the person in front of you interacts with them, the people behind you are interacting with each other. Now that the supermarket line is relatively quiet and the cashier is uninterrupted, they're scanning things like a beast, putting them in bags, and then they place it in your cart. So you're actually getting through the line a lot quicker than you normally do. The third thing that I realized I appreciate is the fact that laughter helps me sleep a lot better. I realize that if I watch a comedic television show, a funny movie, or I surf through some YouTube videos about cats doing funny things, I always tend to sleep a lot better. Now here's a look at my overall list. In conclusion, if you like the videos, leave a thumbs up or leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, it's totally free. And stay safe, make sure you're hydrating, and wash your hands.